murder really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby girl, we're golden Yeah, about to see it shine, cause we're golden Hey guys, today back at it again with another video and today we're gonna take a look at the iPhone 5 and 5C. How is it in 2018? Is it any good? Well, let's find out in this video. So a quick flashback, the iPhone 5 launched in September 2012 and the iPhone 5C launched next year after that which is September 2013. So you guys are probably wondering why I didn't make two separate videos for these two phones. Well, because one of them is actually just pretty much the same as the other one with a different body. You probably know what device that is, but I'm probably gonna tell you guys later on. But first, we're gonna take a look at the iPhone 5. The iPhone 5 launched in September 2012, which is six years ago. Wow, time flies really, really fast. The design pretty much resembles the era of Steve Jobs, recently be Steve Jobs, hence while making this phone design is very very time-lapsed, in fact this design is carried on until the iPhone SE, maybe the iPhone SE too, maybe. The phone is made out of metal with a glass at the bottom and the top corner and also has uh, something called the diamond cut chamfer around the edges which is have this little uh, reflective look. The phone comes in color of slate and silver, but they uh, switched the color of slate with space gray in the next version of the iPhone, but still, I like slate way better until right now. This is also the first iPhone that has a bigger display. Well, not a bigger display, a taller display. The display is 4-inch display. Now, the reason why Apple at this time has not made a bigger display is because Apple still want to make the iPhone usable with one-handed use. Not like the competitor, the Galaxy S3, you, need, you know, it's hard to use with one finger but the iPhone 5 is easy to use with one finger. Let's talk about specs. The iPhone 5 has the A6 chips with a 1.3 GHz dual core and a 1 GB of RAM. Surprisingly the iPhone 5 is very very good at every single major OS that it's got. iOS 7, iOS 8, iOS 9, heck even iOS 10. It wants it so smooth but I do have mine on iOS 8.4.1 at the moment because I want to be different, you know, and I still want slides to unlock. I do have a video on how to downgrade the iPhone 5 to 8.4.1 in my channel so check it out. But if you find it on iOS 10.3.3 then don't be sad because this phone is still great on its final firmware, not like iPhone 4S when it, because it got obliterated with iOS 9.3.5. This one does not, it still runs great iOS 10 also jailbreakable for 32-bit devices, so if you want to buy this device to play with the jailbreak world, then this is a great first device. It doesn't cost a lot of money, yet you still can play with the jailbreak world. The iPhone 5 has an 8-megapixel eyesight camera and the front-facing camera of 1.2 FaceTime HD camera. I think there's HD in the app. It took decent pictures in 2018 standards and a not-so-great selfies Yeah. Battery life also not the best when it came out in 2012 and still it's not that great in 20. With only 1440 mAh. Yeah. iPhone 5 also doesn't have Touch ID which is introduced next year with the iPhone 5S so you need to use the regular home button and passcode. Alright now let's move on to the iPhone 5C. The 5C launched next year which is September 2013 with the iPhone 5S. but. The only thing that's different from this iPhone, it's the body and the front-facing camera. One of the hype things about the 5C is the color choices. We got white, pink, yellow, blue, and green. And this is the first and last iPhone with a multi-color other than three or two colors. So yeah, same A6 chip with the 1.3GHz dual core and 1GB of RAM. 
And the same as the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5C runs well on iOS 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now my 5C is on iOS 9, which is thank you for the seller who do not update it to iOS 10 because hey, I wouldn't have an iOS 9 device that actually runs great, not like the 4S. But again, if you found the 5C on iOS 10, then don't be a sad but guy or a girl because the 5C runs great as, as well as the iPhone 5. So no need to worry, man. No need to worry also, girl. Camera, 8 megapixel back facing camera, same as the iPhone 5, but it has a little bit different front facing camera. It's still a 1.2 megapixel FaceTime camera, but with a backside illuminated sensor, which is able to add more lights into the camera. Battery are also just a tiny bit bigger with 15 10 milliamp hour battery. Okay, so the conclusion is which one is better, the 5 or the 5C? Well, let me tell you guys one thing. Both of them are great. The only thing that's different are just the backup part. If you like colors, then get the 5C. If you like slate, manly looking, premium looking, get the iPhone 5. But if you want to get the 5C, don't get the 8GB because it will lose storage quickly like Thanos stuck his fingers, alright? I know, it will save money, but don't do it. And cameras, both of them have the same cameras, 8 megapixel eyesight camera, so no need to worry there. Shoots 1080p, still good in 2018 standards. And performance, as I said, both of them have the same processor, same RAM, same in nada. In fact, here's some Geekbench score between both of them, but Geekbench 4 is not compatible with iOS 8, so we have to use Geekbench 3, but they have the regular same old same old scores, look at that. But at the end of the day, you will be happy of what device that you're getting, of course, not the iPhone 5C and 8GB, I told you so. I mean, look at it, both of these devices are from 6 and 5 years ago, yet they still look beautiful in 2018. This is in fact beating these cheap Android phones that you will be getting around the same price, so be happy. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this, but the iPhone 5 has LTE, but it's not the same LTE bands that we use in 2018. So, in sample in my region, Indonesia, it cannot receive LTE bands on most carriers. It only receives LTE from one carrier. So, you're gonna be... You know, thinking about yourself. So again, if you want LTE, great LTE bands all over across your cellular data, you will have to get the 5C. But if you can live with normal 3G or you on that carrier that support this LTE band that the iPhone 5 supports, then you're good to go. And do not worry about iOS 10. I mean, for now, iOS 10 will be supported until two, three more years. I mean, iOS 9 app support is still pretty good. Even iOS 8, some app is still good. So you guys will be live happily after after on iOS 10 and with great performance, unlike the 4S. Alright guys, that's enough for me for this video. So is the iPhone 5 and 5C worth it? For me, it's yes. It's very very yes. Thanks to iOS 10 stability, not laggy at all on the final firmware, which is what iPhone is supposed to be. It should not be laggy and unusable on its final firmware and Apple finally thought that. Hopefully we'll be on iOS 11 as well if the, 5s, the 5S will not get iOS 12. We'll see if Apple will do the, the good mercies like they did on iOS 10. Now I know, I know, I haven't been active for I think two months of this channel. I'm sorry about that. I have been doing finals and I finally graduated. Yay! So I can finally focus now on this channel some more. So, thank you for 640 subscribers, wow! So, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will continue to post more videos about technologies and more. Peace out!